Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna be looking at this ubiquity tough switch or they call it the XP something right now. They have actually changed the name since they came out with this switch. On the switch itself it says that it's a tough switch but they've changed the name to an edge switch XP. So uh, sometimes it's really awesome to be a YouTuber and that's one of the days when you receive a package from a subscriber that just thinks that Morden should have this stuff. I received this edge switch from Sasha in the UK who thought that I needed one of these. I did not disagree. This is such a cool switch. It, uh, it, it's, it's not a new switch. I have seen other reviews of this switch from 2012, but it's really rocket built. It's metal with a plastic frame around it. So that's probably why they call it the tough switch. It looks like something that you would be able to take out into the field and do um, rough things too. But the switch itself, it has eight ports on the back eight then it has a management port what does it say it says it says it does actually say management and it has a USB port right there um, it doesn't have a pretty front there is just a power plug so I guess this is the pretty front so this is the nerd switch because normally um, she wants some pretty lights uh, I don't know she probably don't want that much. well I'm gonna put in the video of me opening that package from Sasha here. I got a lot of cool stuff in that package. So uh, uh, this is uh, earlier this week. Hi and welcome to my playhouse. And today it's gonna be a special video because I have a big box. There's a big box here and this is from Sasha in the UK. And uh, Sasha has sent something to me before and I thought it was a woman's name, but uh, apparently it's not. So uh, sorry about that. And um, I received a Ubiquiti ACAP or is it APAC? I forget, but it was a wireless access point from Ubiquiti, a square one with blue lights and all of that. But um, well, the reason that we are here in my creepy basement is because it's Monday today and um, I make YouTube videos at my playhouse in the weekend and I just I just picked this up at the local bike shop um, that's a UPS delivery point so go in there you can have your bicycle fixed or you can receive packages so uh, yeah has a nice label on there um, my address is there so if you sh like Sasha would like to send me something I do love getting gifts so um, my address is under the about tab here on YouTube and there is also uh, something in my FAQ, Frequently Asked Questions, about how to send stuff, especially if you're outside of the EU, because oh, import crap. Um, but I thought that we should have a look at this, because Monday today, and I'm dying to see what he sent me. Um, I know one of the things that will be in here, but I'm not going to say that, because, yeah. He, uh, he posted that on Patreon for me, um, what it was, so, yep, um, let's, let's go check the box. Okay, so, let's just get on with the opening. Uh, this looks like it could be a moving box, or if you're gonna move somewhere else, you might get a box like this, so, please. Quite, quite big, but it wasn't very heavy. So, ooh, exciting, 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 exciting. We have a Cisco telephone. Okay, for probably PoE. There's that. Yeah. Um, Sasha is in the telephone business. Why so bring it on it? So that is probably why he sent me this. I am. Um, I think it has a color display and everything. So apparently he wants me to get into telephones as well. Wi-Fi specific. Is it a Wi? It also has a. This phone is full of stuff. It has a power plug here. 
it has an AUX connection here it has PC switch it has the wire for the for the phone handle I think that's supposed to go through this channel and out that way okay awesome I'll have to see if I can configure this phone and get that up and running uh, Cisco IP phone and it's an SPA 525G cool wrapping and what is this oh this is the holder for it probably something like that ish this, oh probably like that okay yeah cool so it can it can, it can actually sit now we have we have a ubiquity access point whoa and it has a USB connector. Why does it have a USB? And this is a APAC Pro, and it's the model UAPAC Pro. Cool, that's gonna work perfectly at my playhouse. Thank you very much, awesome. And, oh, it's full of goodies. What is this? Yo. <laughs> 10 gigabit ethernet cards uh, <laughs> nice oh hey come back mm. i have to pick that up let's see what we have it's a dual port 10 gigabit ethernet card do we have anything we have on the box what it is it's a StarTech Ether and it's a PEX 20,000 SFPI. Okay, cool. Better put it, put it back in the bag. So I have just been uh, going into 10 gigabit at my playhouse. So this is definitely going to come in handy. I have already put in network cards in the first uh, servers. But it's very, very nice, awesome. And I do believe that we have a second one. Two port is exactly the same. Very, very cool. Then we have something else. We have a Pico Station M2 HP out compact indoor outdoor Wi-Fi AP Infinited application. Uh, eh? What does that mean? Let's see what that as a AP is an access point, right? Oh, this is not big. So outdoor antenna. So there is I've had I think I've had this one at my playhouse, the big one. Right now I have some micro micro tech or something. Cool. But we have an injector to, to power the thing. Okay, the power supply it delivers 24 volts. Okay, this is this is apparently Ubiquiti's own weird standard of 24 volts. Normally, you want uh, 48 volts, but well, 24 volts. And a little access point. Wonder where? Oh, the cable goes in the bottom. So how do you do that? Okay, so you put in network cable with PoE in there and you have a little ubiquity box nice to mount outside and you have an antenna for it I don't know I have never really uh, well I think I have to read on the box what this is all about they have a they have a guide okay I just did a little bit of research and it seems that this Pico station here um, is part of Ubiquiti's Air Max series, but there is actually a little official hack for it from Ubiquiti, so you can uh, update it with some firmware that makes it available for the Ubiquiti controller and the Ubiquiti Unify setup. So you change out the firmware and you'll then be able to control it through the Ubiquiti Unify controller. Awesome, let's put that back in the box so we have it 
Oh, this is the this is the one that I actually uh, kind of knew about. So, wow, this is. I saw pictures of this. I was expecting plastic. This is not plastic. It's actually. This is a switch. This is an eight-port power over Ethernet Ubiquiti Edge Max switch or a Edge switch. It has a really cool design and it has built-in power. You don't need a little converter for that. It has a just a normal power plug. Awesome. So eight ports. I do believe that this is it's 10 slash 100 megabit or one gigabit or thousand megabit and it's able to supply 48 volts or 24 volts power over ethernet so this is very awesome the reason why i knew i was getting this was because sasha saw me posting on patreon that i had ordered an eight port ubiquity unify switch and he kind of said that i should cancel that order because well and when he said that i knew what was coming on and um, i actually think that i'm gonna be using this here uh, in my creepy basement because this is so much cooler than the piece of crap that i have right now and it will be compatible with my new phone yeah this is this looks really cool i love this design it's much cooler than the one i have ordered so all of this awesome equipment is gonna be turning up in upcoming videos where i try and use some of it um my i have something special in mind with the phone if i can figure this out but well for that you will have to stay tuned so back to morton at my playhouse so back to me in the same basement but i wanted to use this soft switch or edge switch xp here in my creepy basement and uh, replace a switch that i have sitting right up here uh, which is a real cheapo and this is so much more quality um, the big advantage of this switch is the PoE power over Ethernet you're actually able to power devices on the switch itself so you can plug in like the ubiquity wall mountable access point that Sasha also sent me um, and you just need the cable to go directly to the switch and everything will be good. That's awesome. The same goes with the telephone. Um, one cable goes from the switch to the telephone and you can even draw a cable from the phone into a computer. And uh, I do believe, I hope, I hope it's 1G. I don't know, but it's a real life-savoring cable so you don't have to draw as many cable around your house. You can just have one cable going to the phone and the cable going on down to the computer and that is awesome so i thought that we should exchange my old switch up there and try and put this in instead and for that i have uh, fetched a power cable for that and i'll introduce you to the cable mess that i have up there we're not gonna clean that we're just gonna live with it but um, let's um, let's put this switch to good use so here is my <clears throat> cable mess but as we are gonna be replacing that switch, we might as well get to it. I have a blue cable coming in here. That's actually my internet cable, and it's um, you know it's the cable that I've, I've plugged in from um, my, my internet. Actually, comes into my apartment in my bedroom. So I've drawn this cable all the way from the bedroom, and since then the little plastic tap for the wire has broken off, and therefore it's taped to the switch so that it doesn't fall out but we'll have to untape that so let's um, let's get rid of everything uh, I don't know where my tape is so I hope I can keep the tape on there might as well turn it off take all all the cables out so I can show you this switch I really wonder what I'm using all those cables for oh oh the Synology box didn't like to lose the internet it's suddenly woke up so it's a tiny little D-Link it's uh, stupid as hell I bought it for low power consumption I guess and cheapness so that is going um, I'm not throwing it out I'm just keeping it somewhere else and the power supply would be nice to get on off here as well 
Yeah. So, I will put the new switch in and we'll get right back. Okay, so the switch is here and it looks like it's testing the ports right now, looking if there is anything in them. I've only just connected power, it's not doing much. I think that we want to reset this to factory default. Yeah, we might just plug in a few cables and see. It's probably not going to do anything, but um, I'm wondering if all my cables will will be long enough now that before the cables was further in. So we'll be putting in some cables and see how this ends. If it's going to be long enough, I hope it's going to be long Oh, some of these, it's probably not going to be less of a mess. Mm, internet cable is important. Um, let's put that in number one. And oh, this piece of tape is no good no more. Okay, I I don't like that. There is a smell of burnt something. Electronics. I think I will turn this off again. I'll unplug everything actually. That's probably the best. I don't like that. Oh, also this plug that. I don't know if PoE power would kill everything. If I'll try and reset it to factory default and see if um, what happened. It looks like they are lining up green, so they might be uh, connected to 24 volts. Um, so if I if I reset it. I'm guessing that that will go away. So the switch has a little switch reset button here. So we'll try and press that until it resets. Oh, until it resets. It started blinking. So let's see if that if that isn't a factory default reset. It usually is. I wonder where that smell came from. Hmm. Okay, I have had the power plug out and it has been, I think it has been waiting for a couple of minutes. This red wire is my computer, so we're gonna put that in plug number two. And something is still working there, which is good. And there is no power over ethernet connectors power on right now, so I'm not, Oh, I hope I haven't burned off anything, but let's go to the computer. So the default IP number for managing this switch should be 192.168.1.20. Let's see if my computer is still on that network. Uh, probably not. Um, when it loses internet connection, it might have... Yeah. It's, um, I have to connect the internet to get a, well, I, I could manually set it. I might as well just connect the internet. I popped in the internet connection in the, in the switch as well. And I immediately got a local IP number, number nine. And in the background also, it has found that the switch now has a homepage. So let's, uh, let's go see that. And it's not approved. So we have to, um, to ask nicely to get in. And the Ubiquiti tough switch is replying here. So let's go in and see what the firmware is on this beast. The default username and password are UBNT and the same in password. UBNT, login. It sees my two connections. My internet connection has a yellow light diode, which means that it has a 10 slash 100 megabit connection also says it down here and my computer connection is a one gigabit connector okay cool a firmware 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 switch firmware is at a firmware level of 1.3.2 and it thinks that the date is 2015 uh, i think we're past that um so yeah uh, this looks mighty cool. There's a lot of good stuff here. Manage switch settings. Give it a new IP number. We can give it a new name. So it's still a tough switch here. I have over here. 
I wanted to update the firmware on this. So we are at the Ubiquiti homepage here. Let me turn this screen a bit. Right there. So to find the newest firmware, we go over to download. There. Then we have to select the Edge Max up here. And if we go down to the bottom of their switch range, they have their Edge Switch XP. And the firmware here is, um, they have come up to a 1.4.0. And it's not very old, it's from middle of February. I have downloaded that, so we could try and see if we can find somewhere over here where we can upload this firmware to the router and be running on the latest firmware at least. Where would we put, oh, it's right there. It's, it's writing some of this in Danish and some of this in English. But right there is upload firmware, you can read that. And there is nothing selected, it says in Danish, but we're gonna select the file and we're gonna go to the download. And here is the file that I downloaded, can you see? Yeah, it's in view. Open, let's try that and upload that. Please wait, updating firmware. It's very exciting. Okay, so firmware version and we can we can update or we can discard we're gonna be updating so updating firmware the firmware is being updated this operation takes several minutes to complete meanwhile do not power off that's probably a good idea but um i don't want to be uh, paddling here for a couple of minutes so we'll be back when this is done okay so it completed and i think it booted so we lost access to the to the site here I don't know if it's up already, but we could press it. See what it comes up with. Yeah, it looks newer. They have changed the name now. Edge Switch 8 XP. So let's try and log in again. UBNT. And it looks similar. So, um, and I found out what it's, it smells bad. It's my um, router for my internet connection where that comes in. I don't think that like to get a PoE uh, transferred up to into it. Uh, my bedroom smells really bad right now. Uh, I hope it survives. Uh, I don't want to live without internet right now. Uh, right now the internet is working, so that's there is that. Yeah, just gonna check if it actually works. Yeah, it works. I want to plug in something that does use power over internet, so. I have another cable here, so we're gonna plug that in in some port, and maybe when we pop this in, we'll be able to see it. I'm gonna pop it in port five. Does it see anything? No. Let's go to ports, and then choose port number five. There, port five is selected, and then we can pick power over the ethernet, and we'll pick 48 volts. Uh, Let's see, warning, plug devices must support specified. There's nothing in it right now, so um, I hope that's all good. Take this phone and we'll try and plug that in. Um, it has two connections, one that goes from uh, goes to the switch and one that goes on further to the PC. So we need to plug it in the switch one. Uh, that's this one. I'm curious as hell, does that work? Seconds later, it's just me that's being an idiot. I had to press the save changes. So as soon as I pressed save changes and went back to status here and plugged in the phone. Oh, wow. Oh, which one is that? Oh, it's so tiny. There. And it lights up right away. So uh, the phone is powered. I haven't got the faintest idea how this phone thing works. So, um, oh, it's configured for Blue Telecom. It's gonna be interesting to see how that works, but it's powered through the switch. There is no extra power on that. It's just a phone that is powered through the switch. So let's try the access point as well. And the access point should run on the same uh, voltage. Um, this switch is able to supply the standard 48 volts AF and AT and also 24 volts we could probably see that if we go in here on the ports and and check that out it, well it just says 48 volts and 24 volts so let's plug in this main one and probably the 
the access point will hopefully power on as well. I'm working on the table down here. I'm having problems to pop the cable in. Embarrassing. There we are. Let's see if it lights up. Oh, maybe I shouldn't be messing with it. Maybe we need to go to status here. It says that it works with 48 volts. Oh, now it's blinking. Okay, so blinking is good. It means that it's powered. I don't remember what blinking. Oh, now it's blue. So it's probably okay. Um, I don't know if I dare to turn off my internet in the bathroom. If everything will just die forever. So I think I'll dare and put in all my cables again. Uh, one cable I found that wasn't long enough. This one it goes down to my printer. I need to get a longer cable and it's ca quite embarrassing because that's one of the... De uh, this one is closer but this one is the second closest and that cable wasn't long enough. I might have one that will work. I know this looks terrible. So again, thank you very much to Sasha for sending me this awesome stuff. And I will be showing more of the stuff in upcoming videos. Maybe some of it I won't be showing as much, but this one is gonna be living up there. I took it down just to film this, so I have no internet right now. If you also, for some weird reason, wanna send me anything weird, good, cool, my address is under the About tab here on YouTube, and I do love getting packages. So. Um, Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.